I completely forgot I ever got the camera on. What a muppet. First time on this bike since two days ago. I uh, just got taken around the racetrack yesterday. I've noticed that the clutch slips now. Thank you. It's, yeah, it's just not right. I don't know whether it's because it's cold or and the shit oil, because of course I haven't had it long. But anyway, yeah, on my way to uh, Castle Coombe. Going to one racetrack in two days is not enough. I have to go to two, running late, or Dino time as we call it. So there we go again. Yeah, gonna go and help uh, my mate Talon. Being paralyzed now for, uh, forgive me if I get this wrong, paralyzed now for 10 years. Spent his 10th anniversary riding round Mallory Park or Cadwell, I believe it was. Yeah, so I'm gonna go and help him uh, race today. Uh, we meant to meet at seven. <laughs> it's something past seven. It's about seven ten. No, even worse than that. It is quarter to eight. Uh, the time that I said I would be arriving. Dino time. Gonna just try and uh, help out, make amends, and uh, enjoy the day. As as I said, second race track that I visited we went to Landau up in Wales near Cardiff. I borrowed my good friend Darren, I'm not gonna keep naming people unless they annoy me switch. Ninja 600 as my Ninja 900 is currently in bits. Head gasket is on back order. Uh, I bought a short stubby can for it and a new screen and I'm gonna pick up the radiator now. I've got some and I think I might put the stubby can on this if it fits because uh, the Ninja doesn't really need a replacement can. It's just me being, I want something louder. But yeah, it looks good. So if it, if it fits, it's going on this bad boy. The speedo is completely inaccurate. Rumour has it you double it and then you've got the right speed. Which makes things interesting because you've got to do maths. Yeah, it's all good. I've gone out and bought a FZR 600 Yamaha. Slightly street fighter. It's cost me an arm and a leg to insure it. I didn't really want to pay that much for it in the first place. So this uh, cheap bike has cost me a lot of money. It's dubbed the shit fighter. Or shitty for short. It's a nice little... A nice little bike. Yeah, I haven't really had a chance to play with it. Adam rode it to Landau yesterday. We went around the track and rode back. Uh, so it was a good little sort of oh, 280 miles just done. Let's had a nice little um, bedding in ceremony. I would say what the mileage is. Um, it's going to be wrong, so um, I won't bother. But no, it's all good. It's a nice little bike actually. Uh, it's very uncomfortable. Oh my god. Uh, basically, we've got a pillion seat. I'll do a walk around at some stage. Uh, it's got a pillion seat as a, as a rider's seat. And the seat unit's been, uh, been chopped about. So yeah, it's all good. Uh, it's interesting, let's just say that. Uh, everyone's laughed at it so far, but uh, I'm on wheels. Who cares? The uh, show on the walk around, but there's a, there's a gap in the fuel tank where the seat would go up um, because it's got the riding seat, uh, the pillion seat instead of the riding seat, there's a massive hole. That's for your ball bags, that's for your sack. But that's your glory hole. It's got a glory tank. But yeah, it's all good fun. Um, yeah, went round on a 600 Ninja yesterday. Uh, rode up, picked it up Thursday night. Picked this up Thursday afternoon. The clutch ship seems to have gone. I think it's just a cold engine that just slipped. Even that the guy who's put the oil in has put shit oil in it. Yeah, I need to do an oil change and air filter check. Get some spark plugs for it. Adam was uh, tracking it, as I said. He's not quite got the edge of the tyre. Uh, there's no rev counter, so he, that hampered his performance. It's working unlike his bandit. He <laughs> can't bam bam grumble about it. I don't know what he was on about the brake, because that is nice. I didn't want to push the brake. Yeah, that's brilliant. I love it. I like it. Yeah, it's going to be stunt pick. Oh, the wiring is a nightmare. The number plate is horrible. Nice number plate registration. It's got 58 in it. So, 
a good little Marco Simicelli bit, but um, put my Marco numbers on there as well. I've got my phone holder on, not for twat nav purposes, but although I've got it on twat nav purpose, it's mainly because I just have no speedo that, that's valid. I just wanted to double check that I'm not going through speed cameras at stupid speed. Yeah, um, I've got to do something about this seat. It's so, so uncomfortable. And the s suspension is rock hard. But uh, it's that seat in position and uh, you wear your ball bags. When I get off the bike, I'll, <laughs> I'll video it. It's a little 600. It's my little baby. Well, apart from the 125. It's a little baby bike. Um, I'm also going to do wheelies on it and shit because the seating angle is perfect. Bit of a German street fighter arse up in the air sort of thing. And I'm going to prove to people that you can wheelie a 600. I haven't got the power. I, I wheelied a bike and it had 45 brake horsepower. I've wheelied a bike, a little, my little 125. That's got about 12 brake horsepower. I wheelied it. I wheelied my moped for fuck's sake. It's just, oh, I mean, I was cheating on the moped. It's easy to wheelie. The skill is bringing it up and carrying it and I will admit now I haven't got that skill I'm on about doing with another good mate of mine another disabled mate we're on about doing a wheelie school at the uh, Top Gear test track um, they go do it on quads and then they do it on proper bikes I don't know whether he wants to do it on a on the quad or uh, whether he's a uh, whether he's uh, eyeing up the uh, going on the bike. Speaking of quads, I have to go and pick up mine. <laughs> yeah, I've been spending money, haven't I? I've bought a quad after going on a uh, stag weekend with my little brother, um, who's getting married in six days' time. We went on a stag weekend, and we did quad biking, amongst other things, and uh, oh my god, it was so much fun. I thought I might buy one. Um, jokingly, sort of saying yeah because of course if I want to ride it on the road that means I have to do my car test which ain't a problem because I said I'd do it I'm I'm 30 and I said that I'd do it when I was 25 and then when I got to 28 I went fuck it I'll do it when I'm 30 um, I will try and do it this year um, and if I had a the quad bike I would um, which is it's road legal um, as long as I got a car license, so I thought I'll do, try and do my car test. And if I can try and do my car test before winter, I use the quad bike. This will be absolutely hilarious. The good chap who owns it, it ended last week, the auction, I won it. I have said, look, I'm really busy, I've got no wheels. I've now got wheels and, and I'll come and get it, but i uh, come and pay for it. But I don't know about picking it up. that clutch slip again. Fucking hell Adam. Why ooh, why didn't you overtake most of these cars? Because that went like shit off a shovel. I once I finished fart arsing about with it, I'm gonna dyno it. And we're gonna see what the bad boy does. I, I don't know what I, I haven't looked up how how powerful uh FZR oh, oh fucking hell. I haven't uh, looked up to see how powerful they are yet. I'm guessing they've got more than 60 brake horsepower and I'm guessing it's under a hundred. So I think they got about 85. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be happy with 85 because that's 15 more than what he's got. But no, this is going to be like my stunt pig, um, my workhorse, just because there's no original clocks on it. Nobody knows what the mileage is. I've, I've got the mileage from the old MOT certificate, but how old is that speedo? And then I can judge roughly how many miles the old clocks had and and also install that speedo much better. There's a rev counter function on there and I haven't used it. I'm gonna have to apologize like fuck with Talon. I'm one of the nine volunteers. Apparently the steering lock isn't that good. And it's a sports bike with flat handlebar conversion. It ain't gonna turn well, not unless you grind off the lock stops. And the reason why they, they lock stopped at an early angle is because it got a fairing to protect. See, I know these things. Um, yeah, I've got some more bits for the bandit, uh, my bandit, not his. 
Although he's went and robbed the fucking coil off of it. And then he nicked something off the, underneath the seat. Bastard. I had two hours sleep last night because I was trying to help him fix his fucking bike and then he finally gave up at 2am yeah we're going to go on a, a ride out at the, on Sunday morning early hours uh, run to the button I did say if the ninja's up and ready he can take this but after what he did to it it scratched the fucking tank the tank's all scratched the fuck from where he put the um, fuel can on it. Pissed me off. Clutch it. Love it. What a beautiful fucking day. Beautiful day. I think I'm going to have to put a grippy seat sort of cover on it. I'll go down there then. Alright, chief. At the roundabout, straight on. Over the fucking roundabout! Yeah. I know I have to get some fucking mirrors for this. This is shocking. And sit down with a speedo and measure the wheel. Measure the wheel circumference. Find out how many jobbies are on there and oh my god what oh, pain in the ass it's a bike it does a speed limit and over it's fine it's fine, it's fine. oh going back to the track day um circuits usually don't let you have a helmet cam landau does or mount one on the bike i've got a little mountain bracket or stuck on the um side of this one I've got to get another key cap because that looks fucking horrible. Tank cap doesn't look very good either, but as long as it's secure, it gives a monkey's bollocks. Hey, monkey's bollocks. Why would anybody give monkey's bollocks? Oh, good news, the Dacia Sandera. The stubby exhaust I bought for my Ninja, that I'm thinking about fitting to this if I can. The exhaust on this is deteriorated. It has fallen apart. There's no, there's no beating around the bush. You might as well just shag the bush instead, stick your penis in it. The exhaust is uh, it's falling apart, so it needs one. And I have a stubby. It's like a little the uh, 06 R6. And it's all, it seems to be all the rage. And Triumph have done it with a 675 lately. A little tiny exhaust down just behind the right the right foot peg when it's done right it looks all right mine looks absolute shit looks crap it might look good with the um with the other stubby on there with anything it would be an improvement yeah it looks absolutely dog shit absolute dog shit i'm gonna have to do something about this back end because it's it's fucking dog shit the rest of the bike is mechanically sound apart from the clutch slip issue i think that might be the the oil I'm going to do a, like I say I'm going to do oil and filter change check the air filter see if it's K&N okay and if it's a K&N okay then obviously just clean it lube it clean, clean and oil it shall I say a headlight unit if I can get that sorted oh and uh, judging by the state of the tyres they need changing in a few months doing a track didn't help Apparently the rear brake is a bit funny, according to Adam. Uh, I don't use the fucking rear brake, so I wouldn't fucking know. Never used it. Only use it to bring the front wheel back down after a wheelie. Just finish wiring up. But yes, yeah, it's, it's a road legal running project. It's a bit of a shit heap, but it's a damn sight better than some of my other running or non-running bikes I've seen. Oh yeah, at some stage I was going to put some fuel in this. That is the reason why I got cash out. To put petrol in. Oh, I'll check it when I'm at the track. A lot of vehicles going to 
Newcastle came away. Usually when I come down here, it's just me on my own. Yeah. Oh, I don't know what the day is, what, whether it's a thunder sport or, or all I know is I'm just coming down to help, help with your man. Do my bit. Admittedly, do it late. So we're going to be in trouble. I don't know what his problem was riding this bike. I really don't. Help a friend out. Alright, I haven't got a pass, but I'm helping with um, Talon. Do you know where he is? He's up opposite oh, by the e, opposite the cafe. Alright. Yeah. yeah, I knew there was another one coming in. <laughs> <laughs> I was meant to be here at 7, I was running late from a track day yesterday. Cheers, right. buddy. Where are we all part to? Hey? Are they? Where can I leave this shit heap? <laughs> Alright mate. Yeah. I'll whack it round there. You're right. <laughs> 